So we believe whale sharks are mating in St. Helena. Uh, there's been two eye eyewitness reports by credible fisheries operators and NGOs within St. Helena. We've done dedicated research expeditions there as well, and we've seen further evidence of pre-copulatory and mating behavior as well. And I think it will be a matter of time before we actually document mating within St. Helena. We've seen whale sharks interested in engaging in one another, and we've seen some abrasions and wounds on the pectoral fins of females that we think are potentially linked to mating. We think they adapt uh, an open ocean pelagic lifestyle, which means that they, they're far away from the, these, these areas where, where we as humans can access them and see them. So St. Helena is unique and interesting in that regard because it's this small little island in the South Atlantic. It's very remote. It's as open ocean and pelagic as you can get, but we can still launch boats and expeditions from the island as humans. So we deployed some camera tags to, to try to uh, see if whale sharks could document their own interactions and their own mating behavior if we couldn't see them as humans. So it's very important for us to understand where, where, where whale sharks are mating and reproducing. So if we can find areas where whale sharks are mating, where whale sharks are pupping, where neonates are, we can protect these areas and, and we can uh, manage them better and, and protect them so that we can fully protect the complete life cycle of, of, a, of a whale shark.